Hey guys, it's JC Chandler and I am about to show you how I made this paper pendant. I posted a video, excuse me, a picture on Happy Place Studios, the Facebook page. And a lot of you asked me um, if I was gonna do a tutorial or if um, I could share the video. And I went crazy trying to find the video that I saw making these. So without driving myself any more crazy looking for it, I'm gonna do my best to do a tutorial on how I made this. I am sure there's other ways to do this, but I am gonna show you how I can remember, if I can remember how I made this because all the ones that I put in the picture um, on Facebook was, they were made a while ago and all of them have been sold um, as of the time of this video. So here we go. Now I may forget some items, but please bear with me. Today I am uh, working with some wire. If you have some wire, any kind of wire, but this one particularly is a 16 gauge and I've cut it to, it's about 16 to 18 inches long. You may not need it depending on how long you want um, your, how many of these you want to make. Okay. Um, I also have, if you have a tiny dowel, something that you can wrap the paper around, do that. But um, I'm using what I have, okay? Uh, initially when I made these, I had a nice long um, kebab skewer. That works perfectly and you can do um, that and maybe do multiple at a time, but it's a little tricky because you have to glue these closed. So I'm using a Q-tip and I cut it at the very, very, very edge of the um, cotton ball. I have some glue and the idea here guys is to use what you have on hand, okay? Don't go buying anything for um, this. It is pretty simple. So a glue stick, this I got from the Dollar Tree. I am also using some alcohol ink, but if you have some Distress ink, I don't have the right color, so I'm not using the Distress ink, but they have a brown, any version of brown color. This one is too light, so I decided to pull out the alcohol ink, or if you have a brown Sharpie, and I'll show you what we're going to do with it. Let's see, what else do we have? We have, I have some um, pliers. These are the round skinny nose and forgive the tips. I have this on here so it wouldn't scratch when I was making a lot of metal jewelry. I had to um, put that on there and it's called Magic Tool. It saves your um, jewelry from getting scratched. So, and you could use a brush or a sponge tip. If you have wood stain, that's why this is brown. Wood stain would um, work as well for what I'm using the alcohol ink for today. Any kind of beads you want on the ends of your charm. Any embellishment you might want to put on there. All right. And some paper with, I've already printed out um, what I am working with today. So I have white paper and I'll show you why I have both white paper. So I just went on to Word and I made four columns and I put the words that I wanted. You can make this anything you want. Initially I had Bible verses up there and then um, I decided to make them words of encouragement. So that's what I have on here. I have a, a, a white sheet of paper, regular eight and a half by 11. And then I wanted to give it a distressed look more so than what I'm gonna show you on the white paper. So I decided to get some parchment paper and I got this from Amazon and I'll show you, I'll, I'll try to get all the links to what I'm using in the description of this video. And this one has a little bit different shape but it will still print. And I have an inkjet printer. It will work with um, laser as well. So what I wound up doing was cutting out right on the lines here to the best of my ability. 
on the inside of the line. So you can see there, I cut on the inside of that line. So there's no lines on your bead. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move all this stuff out of the way. And again, forgive me, this is my very first time videotaping something that I have done before. So hopefully you'll like it. And if you could, let me know in the comments how you came across this video. Did you ask me for a video to show how this was? Did you see me on Facebook? Did you just scroll through YouTube and um, find me? Either way, thank you for pressing play. I appreciate it. All right, so let's get started. So for the first one, I'm going to take this paper. Again, I'm using my Q-tip, a little um, home remedy, okay? And I'm going to flip the page and I'm going to take this and I'm gonna roll it, right? This happens to be the very perfect width, right? And I'm pushing it to the end here and I'm just gonna roll it and roll it and roll it, okay? It's easier to do it this way, but some people might do it this way and roll it, but you gotta be careful to make sure that it's not poking out I'm gonna turn this back around and do it this way because now what I'm doing is I'm pinching, pinching this tight. So it will roll as tight as it can and then I'm gonna continue going, okay? As much as I can. And then when you get to the end, see how that's turning into a point? We're gonna fix that. When you get to the end, take it off, right? See where I'm at? The word blessed is right there. I'm right at the line. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and then I'm going to hold it as tight. See that little point? I'm gonna press it down, squeeze the two ends, and now here comes the glue. Take the glue stick and just go ahead and run it across here or you can run it across the back here, all right? and get it nice and coated so it'll stick when you roll it further. Okay, roll it further until you get to the top of your word blessed or a little bit more, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my um, X-Acto knife and I'm gonna go as close to the edge here and just cut it. And just cut it right there and you see the ends there just go ahead and put a little more glue on there we'll fix this so that it'll stay even more so so that's just to hold it right there in place okay so now we have that you can put as much glue as you want to make sure it holds okay so I'm gonna push put this to the side since it is still wet I don't want to mess it up and um, I did this one a few moments before I pressed uh, record. So it's right there is where I have the glue. Now for the distressed look on the white paper, what I have is alcohol ink and I'm going to put it, I'm just gonna dab some right here. That's brown, I have the coffee kind right and I don't need a lot because I'm only doing one but this has a little bit of um, alcohol on there so I used this earlier but you can use a sponge uh, the sponge is gonna soak up a lot more than you want so I'm using a q-tip and I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and so what I'm doing is I'm gonna dab the ends to give it almost a an aged look you see that? And just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. You don't want to soak it. You want it to look kind of real on the aged look. Okay. Now, because I wanted more of a vintage look, I chose to use the, now look at that. See that? That's a little bit of an aged look. But I chose to use this paper 
instead, and I still used a little aged look on the ends, which gave it a little bit more agey. So this is parchment paper. All right, and that one says hope. So we're gonna go ahead from here and use the, the wire. Now I have a really long wire, which I've already, whoops, I'm making a mistake here, which I've already done a loop for, okay? But I'm going to put a bead on the end first. Okay, so I've got the bead so that this doesn't go all the way in to the to the paper bead. So there's my beginning. So now I'm going to put another one on the end. And so now we have this. Now, when you're ready and you're done, actually, I should have done one thing first. Before we get to putting the bead together, because I have an inkjet printer, I want it to seal this. So, what I wound up doing, and everyone has a clear bottle of nail polish, is coating the whole bead. So, I'll go back to this one. And you'll have to let it dry. But for me, inkjet smears, and you wanna make sure that it doesn't smear while they're wearing it, right? You don't want water or sweat to discolor or disfigure your, your bead. So that's gonna have to sit and dry, right? and then we'll be ready to put it on the wire with the um, embellishments. So I'm gonna go back to that. So we have that. And then we're gonna go ahead and clip this to the length that we want. Now I'm gonna cut it a little bit longer because I like to wrap it. Now everybody has their own way of doing stuff and I understand that. So I'm bending it down to get a right angle. But what I want to do is make sure that these are all both facing flat together. This is flat and this is flat. So now I'm going to go ahead and make my loop. That's not as flat as I wanted it to, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So now I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. It's been a while since I did any metal jewelry. So I like to flip it on over and then clip. So do that the way that you want to do it, however you want to finish it, okay? Because at this point, it's it's your it's your creation. So I've made it an inspirational word. Now on the pictures, I had lobster claw clasps on the end there. And I made it so that it would be like one of um, Terry's, um, Tracy's, I'm sorry, one of Tracy's bar necklaces. The, ne the chain would be coming from here. But then someone mentioned that it could be an earring, which I thought was a beautiful idea. So you can have two of these and make them into earrings. And so words of encouragement, protected. You can make them Christian based. You can make them friend based. You can make them uh, domestic violence based. That's why I did the brave one. Um, enough anything you want and these don't cost i mean the cost of the paper you can get how many four per page right this parchment comes 50 to a pack and then if you're going to use white or any other color of 
500 ream paper. So I hope this helps you and I hope it uh, wasn't too painful to watch. But um, I enjoy uh, watching and seeing all of the beautiful stuff that you guys create on Facebook. And I am planning to do more creations and um, videos. So if you wanna see more of any of the things that I've posted or maybe you challenge me and I can try something, I'd appreciate if you give me a thumbs up or a like or comment and let me know. All right, guys, have fun creating. I'll see you soon. Bye.